a bit heartless, but that's not how I mean it to come out, but it's the truth. Unfortunately, after a breakup, we can't let it ruin and end our life. That's the sad truth. We can't lie in our room, cry, be heartbroken for the rest of our lives. Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community. Today's video is coming up right after this. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, it's at Authentic Mental Health, you will know that I have recently gone through a breakup. And today I want to talk about how the breakups affected me, how the breakups affected Authentic Mental Health, and how if you are in a similar situation, can get over your breakup as quickly as possible, which results in helping you move forwards with your life. So I was with someone for two and a half years, almost three years, and we broke up last month. I'm not gonna go into details as to why we broke up, but it really affected me in so many different ways. The very first way, one of my best friends and closest friends, I knew through my girlfriend. So. Since we broke up, I no longer see one of my best friends and I will never see him ever again because it's not fair on my ex-girlfriend, my ex-best friend, if you want to call me still seeing him when he sees her, they work together. It's all complicated. I just thought it would be best if I stepped away because I didn't want to cause any more hurt and upset. However, that caused me more hurt and upset because I didn't just lose my girlfriend, I lost my best friend as well. So I had that to deal with as well. So how did the breakup affect me personally? Well, it's like any breakup really, when you spend pretty much every day of your life for two years, three years, or however long it is with one person, you go to sleep next to them, you wake up next to them, you get breakfast, you get lunch, you get dinner, you, you do everything physically possible together. When that person is no longer around anymore, of course things are gonna be strange. So I remember the first morning I woke up and I was like, whoa, what, something, something doesn't feel right here. Something feels as if it's missing. Something feels strange. Everything's new, and me personally, I don't like new things. I get into a routine and I like things being the same. I feel all anxious when things are new. So it takes some time, I'm not gonna lie, to get over the fact that you're not gonna see that person anymore. And of course, you think about things, you think about the memories, you have things that remind you of what you did with that person, you think about the times you had together. That is extremely difficult, especially if you suffer from anxiety or depression or any mental illness. It's difficult to not be negative about the situation. So for a couple of weeks, I was seriously depressed. I didn't really want to get out of bed, leave my house, do anything like that, I just kept picturing things over and over in my head thinking, this is a big mistake, why can't it work, etc. However, one morning I woke up, let's turn this into a positive video and positive now. One morning I woke up and I decided, enough is enough. I can't live my life like this anymore. And after the next part where we're gonna talk about how my breakup affected authentic mental health, I'm gonna tell you the best way for you to overcome a breakup. And believe me, I've tried every single way. So how did my breakup affect authentic mental health? Well, to cut a long story short, she was pretty much there from the beginning of the creation of Authentic Mental Health. So as you know, for a while I haven't uploaded, and that's simply because 
I felt upset when I was doing authentic mental health work. It reminded me, it triggered things in my mind, it made me more depressed. However, it's not the case anymore. And Charlie is back to help you, but also to help myself. And I'm sorry I've been away for so long. A couple of weeks since I hit 100,000 YouTube subscribers, I've been away. But I am back now, and I am better, and we are going to continue to be the biggest UK mental health channel together. So, what is the best way, Charlie, to deal with a breakup? Well, there's many different ways. However, this is the best way and the only way that has worked so far for me. There will obviously be a grieving and an upset negative period. But once that's over, whether that be a day, two days, a week, a month, maybe a year, I don't know, depending on your situation. Once that period is over, you need to concentrate on guess who? Five seconds to guess who? Five, four, three, two, one. You. Me. You. So I started to focus on myself. I thought, what do I want to do in my life? What do I, me, nobody else, ignore other people, what do I want to concentrate and focus on? What are my goals in life? So I re-evaluated everything and I started writing things down. What I wanted to do. And then from that, what I wanted to do, how I'm going to achieve them. And I started to focus and work on myself. Because it's difficult to do that when you're in a relationship, you're in love, you think about other people. Now, when you're single, it's done, is the time to focus on yourself. What do you want to do in life? Turn the negative into a positive. And immediately, you'll forget all the negativity in your mind and it will turn to positivity because you're working towards a goal. You know what you want to do in your life. You'll start to forget all the memories that you have together and you'll eventually become numb to the pain and the upset and the missing because you've got a goal. You know what you are going to work on now. You have a plan to move forward in your life. Unfortunately, this might sound a bit mean, a bit heartless, but that's not how I mean it to come out, but it's the truth. Unfortunately, after a breakup, we can't let it ruin and end our life. That's the sad truth. We can't lie in our room, cry, be heartbroken for the rest of our lives. We have to live our life to the best we can. We have to move forwards, and you will, with time, and setting goals and a plan and focusing on yourself. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've gone through a breakup recently, or let me know your best tips and tricks in dealing with getting over a relationship. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Authentic Mental Health, the biggest UK mental health channel ever for more content like this again in the future. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you in another video.